everyone. Today I'm going to do a really nice simple neck, shoulder, décolleté, jaw and scalp massage. Very, very simple. Nothing fancy whatsoever. Very simple to follow along with as well. So here I am getting the muscles nice and warm. You want to make sure to warm the muscles up as much as you can before you go in deeper. Just get them nice and warm. And sitting down behind your person is very effective. You could get off your feet have a lot of strength in your arms and hands, not feel tired, just nice and relaxed, and work the neck muscles and give a really nice scalp massage. So Nomi's muscles are pretty tight in the back. This is a nice pull for the neck. stretch and rubbing the hair like that is very relaxing very relaxing during an, a neck massage so there I am that looks about to be the rhomboids right in that area the rhomboids which is that deeper muscle that gets very tight on people pretty much everyone the one that hides in between the shoulder blades and up the side of the neck where there's the scalenes and the occipitals and suboccipitals in the back but here's the trap the top of the trap which gets tied on pretty much everyone nice light strokes so this big muscle right here is the SCM. That's a big word. <laughs> and that muscle holds in so much tension. If you're feeling that you have a headache or just a stiff neck, getting this, giving this muscle some love is very important. It, it feels intense. Now, you, the, the pressure will vary on everybody. Some people can't take this, sort of what I'm doing right here, going down the muscle, because it can be quite intense, but it's effective. It's effective in making your neck feel way more loose. And, you know, when you just feel you have so much tension and your head feels heavy and you feel like you just want to crack your neck all day long, if you release that muscle, oh my gosh, it'll feel your head is going to float off your body. A nice stretch. So that muscle, if you could strip it, get it stripped. And if you could just try to take it a little bit more so it's a little more pressure, you will have a, a bigger benefit. Nice light strokes up the neck. This is very See how easy it is to put somebody into such good, deep relaxation. So simple. With these sort of moves. Up into the scalp is where you get your tingles. Nomi's hair is particularly dry because she took out her braids two days ago. So I know this feels very, very nice. The scrunching of the hair. Pulled it back. It's a nice pull of the hair. So relaxing. There's so many nerve endings that scalp massages are just so relaxing. So try to give your neck up if you can. Of course, you have to be careful and have the right massage therapist because you can't give your neck to anybody. You really can't. There, that 
it's such a nice move. It's so easy, but you can get a nice good amount of pressure. But you have to be aware of those bony structures. The bony structures are quite sensitive in that area, so just be aware. But you see how much pressure I have going. Always give that stretch, elongate that neck. Yeah. 
yes, but they want to keep their necklaces on. I'm asking her if it hurts. She said no. But can you imagine somebody who needs neck work and they, and they won't take their necklaces off? Isn't that odd? Isn't that bizarre? I know surgeons have that problem too. They tell their patients, please do not wear jewelry at the surgery. Please leave it behind. You know they deal with that too. <laughs> People just have to show up in their jewels. Leave your jewels in the safe. Please. Please. And then with me who can barely see, I, I'm stuck having to put this person's necklace back on who the person that does take off their necklace and, and with my eyes I can barely see I gotta find my readers I put my readers on and try to attach their necklace oh, just leave them at home please so nice stretch nice chest stretch down the decollete sitting. Very, very effective. People have a bunch of lymph nodes right above the collarbone. And that's where you're going to find the lymph nodes of the chest. That's going to be the ones that you're going to be able to feel are going to be above the collarbone. But there's a bunch of deeper lymph nodes that you won't feel, you can't feel. So you just focus on the ones around the collarbone. And you'll feel them. See right in there, you can feel them. They kind of feel like... What do they feel like? Like little soft balls, I guess. Like... <laughs> okay, that doesn't sound right. Like... Like... You're going to feel like a little bit more density. You might not even really feel them. But if you see how I'm spreading, you'll feel them like little bumps underneath the skin. Little bumps underneath the soft bumps underneath the skin. And that feels wonderful. Just spreading that out. People that have asthma or have, you know, a harder time breathing, you really feel like you can breathe so much better after you get your chest worked out and get those lymph nodes worked on. Kind of spread that lymph out. Make things more pliable. Not so tight. And a lot of us sort of hunch, you know, at our desk or when we're on the computer, we sort of hunch. And that causes the chest to become tighter because you're muscles are shortening because you're hunched over. You want to sit with your shoulders back, a straight back, but you know that's hard to, that's really hard to do, especially consistently, you know. So just ask. Oh yeah, no, we definitely like that massage. Not all the therapists will work on that area, but a lot do. Tell me. 
be so relaxed. Very nice, soft strokes. Even deeper relaxation. Up to the hair. All the way, see in the back there, that is so tight on most people. You want to press into those occipitals. Those occipitals are going to feel so tight. That's what you want to release. That's how you're going to get rid of your headache as well. Re releasing the occipitals and the SCM muscle, you will be in heaven. You will feel like helium in your head. You will feel like you have a very long neck that you've just grew three inches.
things that's gonna do it. Some people really don't have a tolerance for that, for their SCM muscle to be worked on. And other people, you can't give them enough pressure. But be careful with your occipitals, your SCM muscles, you be careful with those. My advice is not to let somebody use their elbow on your neck. And I know that therapists do it, and I've had it done to me, and I think I told you guys that. I had someone put their elbow right in my occipital muscle, which is in the back of your neck, and I did not know that she was going to do that. It was just like part of her routine, you know? She does it on everyone. It's sort of one of those routines. It's like this one-size-fit-all routine, and it hurt, and a few days later, I developed occipital neuralgia, which was horrible. Do you know there's so many things that we can just get that we don't know what's going to happen to us, and it has a totally weird feeling that you didn't even know existed. That's occipital neuralgia, and that's what happened. And so it kind of, okay, this is what it feels like. It's like, just imagine your brain is in an electric chair and eight, 10, 15 times a day. Uh, there comes Sullivan. Hold on, I'm so sorry. So imagine all of those times. It could be more, but for me, it was probably about ten times a day, somebody would come over and pull the lever of that electric chair and fry my brain all out of the blue. So I, w I would be massaging and all of a sudden my brain is being fried and it hurts. But it hurts in a different way because it's your brain. It was terrible and it lasted about a month of that happening every day. Someone pulling that lever every day. So I will not work with somebody, I mean, I will not work on somebody with my elbow on their neck. That will not happen. You just can't really gauge perfectly the amount of pressure you're going to give that person. It's too hard. It's, it's like you're, I could feel pretty good with my elbow, but it's, it's just not safe, you know? But I know some people have some thick ass necks, like, god damn, how am I gonna get in this neck? There's definitely those where an elbow might not do anything to them because there's just so much mass, you know, so much density that your fingers feel like they're gonna break off. There's definitely those too. I love these flux. So at this point, Nomi is in a very nice state of relaxation. But her face needs work. Her muscles need work in her face. Because she still has some tightness in her jaw. So I will do a little bit on her jaw. Which is another very very good massage to get if you have a problem with grinding your teeth. Sullivan, you see how 
quiet he is with me. If he's right by my side, then he's good. So I put that little bed there for him because I knew he would be really nice and quiet. susceptible bull. How good does that feel when somebody does that to your head? Nomi looks like she's shutting her eyes tight. That's just how she looks. <laughs> Paragoid. 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 <laughs> I don't know why I always mess that one up. It's spelled funny. So you have the lateral paragoid and the medium par the medial, excuse me, the medial paragoid muscles. So those are the main ones that I'm going to be working on. So right here, oh my goodness, it's so tight. she does wear a mouth guard or not really a mouth guard a retainer so this area you've got to warm up very well because it's like it's kind of like the SCM muscle where it's really really intense to, to get work on and some people can only stand a little bit of pressure I had this worked on once, well, many times, one time she did a really good job, but wow, she gave me so much pressure that I thought my face was going to go paralyzed, you know, <laughs> but it could be a life-changing um, massage to have your mandible released, to have those muscles released. This is such a relaxing, relaxing Squeezing the 
works really, really well. It really does. It moisturizes so well and it, it feels moisturized for days. It doesn't dry up. I got that at a beauty supply near my house. I, actually, did I get that? I'm not sure. I might have ordered that on Amazon. Actually, I think I might have done that. I need to get some more. I wish it came in a bigger bottle. actually so hard on my hands I had to turn her head to the side. <laughs> and moisturize it looks. Of course, if it had water in it first, it would look more moisturized, but this is still good. It still feels a million times 